Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Richmond Spiders and the Virginia Tech Hokies. Number 13 is brings a calm senior leadership that his team needs on the floor. Hey, that leadership he brings is absolutely critical to this team's success. The Hokies will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Hokies are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested enough, Brad. They still have to do the following things. First, set good interior screens to free up your big men on the block. Look to the inside first. Next, if you win the glass, baby, and you own the boards, you'll win the game. Finally, play solid fundamental defense, and don't get caught gambling. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Both teams looking to get things going here. Carson was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully, he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. The small forward gets the ball. Trying to feed the low block. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. From the top of the key. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Defenders right up on him. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Fronts in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Trying to feed the low block. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Tries for two. So we get another look. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Number 13 is fired up right now emotionally. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. That was absolutely phenomenal. He better get rid of it. He puts up the three ball. That was nice. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Dump it inside. Looking for a good shot. The shooting guard takes the pass. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. This is a one-man show right now, Brad. This is supposed to be a team game. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Can't get the shot to drop. They go into the low block. Number 21, pump fakes. The shooting guard with the ball. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. He shoots from the elbow. He gets that one to fall. Working around the arc, down inside for the bucket. They still don't score. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He takes a three. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. He's got a nice shot fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He shoots from the baseline. Game 
gave it up. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I got a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. He shoots from right of the circle. Makes the shot. And our trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. Drains it. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of play. High post flashes. In the paint. For two, perfectly executed. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Nice high post screen. Jumps in, knocks it down. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The shot from the baseline makes it. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The center takes the feed and off the mark. Looking for the foul. Easy one. Look at this effort. Great defensive play, anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Trying to draw some contact. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Leans in. Great play to take that to the basket. Outside, the shooting guard in the paint. Up and in. A little frustration right there. He's got the man in the high post. If he can get it there, there's a double team waiting there. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. The point guard gets the pass. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. White is encouraging the fans to keep cheering. Hey, Brown, I think he wants the crowd backing him up on his next possession. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He strips him clean. Got a man in high post. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Tries for two. He dragged the defender into the screen, but can't drop the bucket. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. 
too much. That's a foul. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. Number 13 with the foul. First personal foul. Moving it around the perimeter. He fires away. Gets it to go. On the outside. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. High post screen. So effective that screen. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Turns it over. Here's a flash from the post up high. Great anticipation defensively. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Post flasher is open. Looking for contact. He gets the shot to fall. From right in the circle. Great shot. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Virginia Tech is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. It's crazy in here, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. Number 41 is charged with the foul. First personal foul. Player flashing. Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle and they also have. The he makes the block. There's the trap. Strip, Brad. Look at that spacing. They work the perimeter. Puts it up, looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. From left of the circle, he nails the shot. It's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Looking for a good shot. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Arm and foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Paul goes to the line for the first time. Makes the first shot.
Time to pick up the defense here now. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. On the dribble. Gives it up. For two. Perfectly executed. Trying to funnel him to the sideline. Take him to a trap. Momentary look from three-point land. He nails the bucket. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Inside. Dickey's working on that low. He gets the rejection. We're going to move it around the perimeter. There's the screen up on top. He unloads a three. Virginia Tech are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He tries to knock down the three. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. screen with a deep shot from outside off the rim and no good gave it up tries for two perfectly executed like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah really good a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass everybody into the act right now and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going isn't that what makes college so special the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders the mascot everybody involved what should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Taken away. Entry pass in the paint. Virginia Tech are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they would keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. They didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. And the ball goes out of bounds. the 
inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. Moving it around the perimeter. Dump it inside. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. He tries the three ball. You betcha. Another look. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. They look like they're having a blast. He pump fakes. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. On the outside. Goes up for two. And he scores it off the glass. Two for one opportunity. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He makes the shot. Shot clock is dead. The fake. Tries for two. I love this guy, Hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. At the end of the first half, the Spiders are behind by seven. Dick, we've got a close one here tonight, my friend. Give us your highlight of the night so far. No bigger shot in the first half for me than this three ball from downtown, baby. Teams build the confidence they need when the threes are falling. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Virginia Tech did an outstanding job of rebounding in that first half, Dick. Yeah, for sure, Brad. They're boxing out and sealing off very well. Great rebound and execution. Our focus player update, Nick Vitals, going into the second half. What does he need to do, you think? I would run him off screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have him pop out to shoot that trifecta. Shots there if he wants it. Oh, yes. The Spiders are down by eight. Comes defensively on him on the low block. I tell you, three quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The ball goes out of play. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Perfectly executed. The Hokies are ahead by eight. Jumped in front to take it away. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. 
The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. Has a nice look at the basket. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He lets it fly. Drains the shot. They scored seven in a row. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And I think right now, they're going to focus defensively. Got it. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Stolen away. The kick out. And a momentary look from three-point land. Pushing up basketball. And we got a whistle with a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a foul down a foul right there, Brown. against it. The Hokies have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. He tries the three. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. That shot was definitely ill-advised. At the free throw line. Gets the first shot. It's his second. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. They're working around the arc. And they come with a double team to stop it. That's a 7 nothing run. Dumps it in. They move it into the front court. Steals the ball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Well, Dick, you said it many times before. The crowd is quite capable of being that X factor, and they have been that and so much more. For two, perfectly executed. Green. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. Solid work getting back on D. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. The Hokies have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Yeah, he's on fire. Picked out of the air. Fast break opportunity here. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. Blocks it. There he is, strips the ball loose. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They work. 
work the perimeter. There's the pick. There's the roll. it go. There was no doubt about that one. For two, they still don't score. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. They work it back to the outside. He's open if he wants the shot. He buries it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Here's a double team. He goes with a baby hook. And off the mark. Basic. He dials long distance. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Picks off the lazy pass. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to draw the foul. Looking for a good shot. Set that screen away. Richmond are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. They strip them in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Dump it inside. And one too many dribbles and a steal. It's a fast break possibility. Jumps in, and the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. Hammers it down. The Hokies lead by 14. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Perfectly executed. Steals a pass. Moving it around the perimeter. from the post and goes the other way. High push screen. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the outside. Got an open look if he wants it. A high screen. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Dribble gives it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. 
great pressure, great double team, really explosive. The layup counts and the foul. He went hard to the hoop, knowing he was going to get fouled. He steps up to the line. Makes the foul shot. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Puts up the tray. Makes it. Give it to him down low, going the other way. He drains it. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. He sure does, Dick, and why not? He and his team have all the momentum. Can't wait to see what unfolds next. He's saying, get up, people. Get up. Let's it fly. Nice shot. Hit the replay button on that one. He intercepts it. Control of the ball. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Guys, this is not the start he wanted tonight. He is his team's marquee performer, and his slow start could be a recipe for disaster. We'll have to see how his teammates respond to all this. We'll continue to monitor it from the sideline, Brad. All right, thanks, Aaron. Double team now, Matt Angle. Gave it up. He wants a three. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for. Dick. Brad, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Hitting the target, MBM, nothing but nylon. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. On the dribble, gives it up. He does the sweet fake shot. There's a double team waiting there. There's the pick. Picks off the pass. On the outside. Picked off. And the ball goes out of bounds. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Number 41 draws the personal. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. First one is good. Second shot, no good. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression.
sets the screen for his teammate. Entry pass in the paint. High post screen, going to use it. Take some pride on the defensive end. Nice high post screen. Wide open for the shot. He launches a three. He shows the sweet touch. a block from behind. My man was on a mission. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> Hits the first shot. On both, he converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Looking for a good shot. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. He shoots from left of the circle. Working it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Look at that spacing. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. With the fake, had a momentary look from three-point land. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important than how talented boards up there. Yeah, that helps. I think the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside, outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Misses. so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Moving it around the perimeter. He takes the shot off the baseline. Rims out. The ball goes out of play. Full house. And a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. I have to see that one again.
Conte, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Perfectly executed. Here's a double team. Robs him of the ball. Looking to move it around the perimeter. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. I'll tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, passing to the block. Oh, screeners seeing stars after that screen. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. They work the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Working it around the perimeter. Strips the ball. They're off into transition. Goes up for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? So in an attempt to get back in the ball game, they should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. And the clock stopped with a foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. To the charity strike. Makes the front end of the one and one. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. It's good. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. needed breather with that timeout. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student section looks like they're having a great time. There's a high screen. Comes up empty. The power forward gets the pass. And the ball goes out of play. it up on the dribble gives it up he didn't have the good angle they should have gotten it to him about a second earlier they're working around the perimeter he goes for the trifecta and he can't hit the shot. Dick, we look now that the game is over at our focus player, and I don't know if it was the defensive focus by the other team, but he didn't have it tonight. I tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. Virginia Tech comes away with the W in this matchup. They expected to be the victor. They just didn't expect it to be this close. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.